speaking of fun summer festivals, colorful chalk art is coming to life in the heart of downtown Hillsboro this weekend. La Strada de Pastelli is a fun summer event bringing together more than two dozen professional artists. And joining us live right now with a preview of the chalk art festival is event organizer Lena Alla and uh, Lena Alla boss. I'm sorry, what Tualatin Valley creates. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, this is the only chalk art festival in the Portland metro area. So uh, how did this start and what can people expect to see? This started in 2019 with a different organization, 2D40, and it was just brought under Tualatin Valley Crates this year. Um, people can see this weekend from 10 to 6 each day, 25 artists, both award-winning and emerging, creating massive 10 by 10 foot drawings all throughout the center of the street. And they use these special pastels. Um, and as you can see that black canvas painted on the ground to create these really vibrant and eye catching and joyful pieces. Oh my gosh, yeah, it is It is beautiful. It's one of those things yeah. where it's so cool to see up close and see all the detail that goes in and then you step back and you've got these amazing pictures. Yeah. And, and this is a real unique opportunity for art fans too to get to interact in this way. Yeah, um, chalk art is a form of public art that's very interesting because it's temporary. It's very experiential. What you see is only going to be there for two days and then it will be gone. So you really do have to come down to the festival to see these pieces be created in real time and then see the final product. Uh, this year, our theme is also joyful play. So there will be a lot of bright, fun am animal and childlike images oh, too. Joyful yeah, really play. I love that. that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're looking at some of the images right now. Just incredible pieces of work. But there's more than just the art there. Uh, you've got music, food, drinks, vendors. Just tell us about the whole festival. Yeah, yeah we have a little something for everyone because we really want to make this and bring out the whole family. So well, we have live music from performers like Portland Opera, a brass quintet, all the way to indie pop a band Rysander and folk singers local art vendors, local food, beer, wine, and hands-on activities. We're, we are dedicating one whole block where young artists can create their own two by two foot chalk art masterpieces as well. So you can see art, you can get inspired and you can create art yourself. Oh, that, that just sounds like so much fun. We're going to have a, a beautiful yeah. weekend for it as mm -hmm. well. What an awesome chance to get outside and, and really support all kinds of different local artists and, and local vendors. How important is that right now as we try to bring a lot of these events back to really come out and support the arts? It's so important. Um, coming out of pandemic lockdown, we really want to come out and celebrate both what our artists are doing in the community and our community. So. Um, also, with that celebration, it's pumping dollars into the local economy, into the local Hillsborough economy, not just the people who we've brought into the festival, but also all the surrounding businesses as well. So downtown Hillsborough and the city of Hillsborough is super excited about having this really fun and family friendly event. Thank you very much. We appreciate you giving us this preview. Event organizer, Lena Alavos. Uh, we look forward to seeing you out in Hillsboro. Thank you for having me. And again, the La Strada de Pastelli Chalk Art Festival is happening this Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. in downtown Hillsboro's Cultural Arts District. For more details, you can go to tvcreates.org. If you haven't had a chance to go to downtown Hillsboro and, and walk through that little downtown area, it's a couple really cute attractive. blocks. Yeah, some yeah. great restaurants, fun stuff to go check out down there. It's, it's the place to be this weekend for the festival, too.